to tell you right quick because this is not why I'm staying. I want you to hear this. Come on. The Bible said, <laughs> let, me, well, let me just say this. I want to call this right now, living in the lay in the right now. Now, listen to this. Every time I, I have heard somebody preach this, they always talk about Tom is unbelieving, but I, I'm not going to preach about that. I'm going to give you something that the Holy Spirit revealed to me that changed my life. Now, when Jesus appeared, he breathed on the disciples. But the Bible said that Thomas wasn't there. Come on. So, he missed the move of God. Ooh, come on. He wasn't there. Come on. Then the Bible says eight days later, Thomas was there. Oh, now, my the danger. Come on. Hallelujah. The danger of getting out of place mm -hmm. can cost you eight days. Wow, wow boy. Talk to to, yeah, that's powerful. Talk I to want it. you to really, really, really ponder what I'm telling you. Because eight days can be metaphorically. Yeah. See, your eight days might mean 18 years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 18 months. Yeah. Come on. Or whatever. You interpret it to you what it means to you. Yeah. Now, um, the, the team was there because Judas wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. The disciples was there. Jesus <laughs> appeared and breathed on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But Thomas wasn't there. <laughs> and eight days later, Jesus reappeared. Yeah. Mm. So... The moment you ever experienced a moment where you had dynamic faith to pursue something yeah, and on. you didn't do it, uh, and then all of a sudden, eight days later, uh, that faith wasn't there? Yep. Come on. Yep. Am I the only one has that? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. see, faith comes upon you Ooh. to possess land yeah. when the time is there. Come on. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. So he missed. He was not there when Jesus came. Come on. Because his doubt yeah. mm. made him get out of position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So watch this. So let's just imagine. Oh, shut ya. Imagine you and the came here today. You know what? Well, it's a four or five days time for you. know, I'm going to come the next day. You heard me? I'm going to come. But you would have missed what I just told you. Yes, sir. Come on. Hey, you oh, on, man. Now watch this. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Now yeah. watch this. I was telling the young lady one day. And, you know, she was like, you know, you're a preacher. You're trying to convince me to come to church. And this is what I told her. And it, and it broke the yoke. I said, this is how I look at church. I look at church as I'm the weatherman. <laughs> you know how in the weather they can tell you what's going to happen? Four or five, you know, some of them be wrong sometimes. But you get my point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. And they say, you know, three days from now, it's going to be 100% chance of rain. Yeah, yeah. So they can foresee yeah. the rain coming in. And that's how I look at the word of God. See, this word that I just released to you is like me telling you the forecast oh. is the next opportunity when you have a moment to possess. Ah. You gotta go possess. Yeah. Yeah. The greatest thing I have learned, somebody was interviewing me the other day and they asked me, you know, what's one of the greatest things God ever done for you? And I said, I can't really say one, so let me give you three. <laughs> And uh, I didn't even give him this one, but I'm going to give it to you. The greatest thing God has done for me is illuminated the scriptures to me. Come on, man. Mm. Illuminated them. The eyes of my understanding is enlightened. Now, the greatest thing I have learned about scripture is finding the promise. Mm. Listen to me. But identifying my participation in the promise. Oh, yeah. Help me. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Hey, you on, man. Yeah. Yeah. You because. On. Watch this. Come on. Okay. I'm going to give you this one. Good night. Give and it shall be given. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together. You know the scripture. <laughs> but watch this. That scripture does not apply to you. Yeah. If you don't do the first thing that the scriptures say do, Come on. which is give. So, as awesome as the promise is, it has nothing to do with you. You might as well not even read it if you're not applying the principle that brings in the promise of that scripture. Good Lord. What? Yeah, yeah. Hit the DVD. Come on. So you can hit that again. That's the deal. Let me say it one more time. Let me give you another one. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. That's a promise. Yep. 
But imagine if the rest of the scripture wouldn't have been there. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Bam. Next verse. But then Jesus said this. That whosoever believes ah. shall have everlasting life. Come on. Come on. So everlasting life does not come to you without you believing. Ah. Wow. Promise what? principle. Come on. Promise principle. So every time you read the Bible, look for the promise. But always identify your participation. Uh -huh. Amen. So, so many of us, we've been waiting for this promise, that promise, yeah, yeah, this yeah. promise, oh. and it ain't coming because we haven't identified Hallelujah, our man. Yeah. Hallelujah, yeah. man. Yeah. You know, as you were talking about, uh, he said he brought a CD from me years ago. Now, as he was, as he mentioned that, the Holy Spirit showed me, okay, because the seed was sown, I'm here today. Ah. Uh, woo. Come on. That's the seed. Woo. This is the harvest. Now, but imagine if I would have been at home. Lord, open up doors, Lord. Lord, bring me, 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 Lord. I still be inside. Judges chapter 1, verse 21. Wow. Mm. He killing it. Man. Yes, sir. That's crazy. Wow. The Lord just watched. Oh, thank you, Lord. Come on. Promise, principle. Promise participation principle. Mm. Principle participation promise. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Principle participation yeah. promise. Mm. My God. Yeah. Write yeah. 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 that down for me. I don't want to forget that one. <laughs>